inside of the TELUS booth, guys, at Binance Blockchain Week 2024. Guys, I am here with the CEO, John. I feel really privileged to be able to do this interview. John, how are you doing today, my man? I'm doing very well, thank you. You got a lot of energy, this is fantastic. Thanks, uh, man. Nice to meet you, very nice to meet you. Too much coffee today. No, but honestly, I'm having a great time at Binance Blockchain Week 2024, day one, guys. So, John, you gotta tell me, man, what is Telos all about for anyone who hasn't heard of the project? Uh, yeah, so Telos is uh, actually an L1 blockchain that's been around for a number of years. And recently, uh, we kind of, I guess, started a new trend. We are launching our own centralized exchange in partnership with the Binance Link program. So the idea there is very simple. Uh, we've got about a million and a half downloads of our wallet. We have an existing community. And we wanted to uh, figure out a way to service our community. So we said, you know what, why don't we just create our own exchange? And of course, uh, when you look at, for example, Binance, BNB, and some of the great examples of a fluid UI, UX, seamless experience that you can offer your users, that was really the motivation. And really, when you take a look, I mean, Binance is the best. The Binance Link program is fantastic. Uh, the program gives you the entire back end of Binance. So starting with, obviously, security. Uh, and then, of course, on the uh, front end side of it, or rather the liquidity side of it, you get the order book as well. So everything on Telos X, which is the exchange that we're launching, uh, all, the, all the tokens, everything you can do on Binance, you'll be able to do on Telos X. In addition to that, we'll be able to kind of create a lot of our own token pairs on our own exchange, and we'll be able to seamlessly integrate it with our existing L1 and L2 and other various products and services that we have already in the community. That's really cool, man. Guys, this project has a lot going on, so much innovation and growth that we just heard from the CEO. Boss, if you don't mind telling me, how long have you guys been around for? Uh, Telos has been around since 2018. And what's interesting about Telos, the way I say it, it's very simple. It's like you, you, before Netflix, we had VHS, and you had these Hollywood B-movies that would go straight to VHS. Uh, you know, uh, and, but that was Telos. But then, like, 10, 20 years later, they become, like, a cult classic and really cool, and they get this, like, resurgence arc. And that's what's happening to Telos right now. So in the beginning, if you recall, uh, there was a massive ICO in 2017 called uh, EOS. Okay, okay, yes. A guy named Brendan Bloomer, very smart guy. Uh, raised four and a half billion dollars, okay? And the idea was that uh, EOS was meant to be an Ethereum killer, so to speak. However, as it turned out, of all the billions of dollars they raised, they invested very little into the actual community. Actually, today, Block One, which is the parent company of all of that, is like the fifth largest holder of Bitcoin in the world. <laughs> that's where they invested most of the money. That's why, that's why I say Brendan Bloomer's a genius. He got people to give him four and a half billion dollars for free. Um, and so, uh, but as a result, um, you know, there was a lot of discontent. And so the community decided to fork. And so that's the genesis of Telos. Essentially, it took the uh, technology in so far as it's got a delegated proof of stake base layer. It has Antelope, which is a very performant VM. And uh, basically, they airdropped the entire supply. This is in the middle of ICO mania. They called it a fair drop or a share drop at the time. 2018, if you can imagine, everyone was raising tons of money with like, you know, bullshit projects. Excuse yeah. me, I don't know if I can swear, excuse me. I remember, yeah. Um, and these guys did a, they did a, they did an airdrop of the whole supply, and then over the years, since they didn't have, you know, a ton of money to start because they didn't do an ICO, I call it the cockroach approach. They had to just do whatever it took to survive, and here we are, six years later. Telos has produced 400 million blocks, you know, million and a half downloads of the wallet. It's really organically grown, um, and you know, it's kind of like uh, on a bit of a resurgence arc. In the meantime, these guys also built a great EVM. So the reason I know about this is because I'm one of the early Ethereum guys, and you know. I was very close to the Ethereum ecosystem. They built an EVM, which in 2021 was fuzz tested, which means it's like uh, an audit was done to validate its performance. During that uh, fuzz testing, they discovered the uh, data via copy exploit error, which would have brought down Ethereum itself. That was uh, sent over to the uh, Geth and other Ethereum client you know, teams, and they patched it very quickly. And this like news article came out like, oh, wow, Ethereum could have uh, gone down. Thankfully, we caught it. You know, just out of the blue, I said, oh my God, what the, how did this happen? And that's how I first learned about Telos. So they built this EVM and now they've been in the EVM ecosystem. And it's really interesting because you can go into the EVM ecosystem uh, and have an L2, but still have your own sovereignty because at the base layer you have delegated proof of stake. So you have your own block production and you have your own token emission, etc. But the token can cut through and go into multiple networks, including the EVM, you see? And so that's kind of the story of Telos. It's just been like this Hollywood B movie that went straight to VHS that now is kind of cool. And along the way, it's become um, a great research hub. We've got a very technical team. I hired a bunch of people. We've got like 12 PhDs on the team. Everyone's basically an engineer or developer. 
Uh, I've been spending my own money to kind of have us participate at these big events, and we've been doing that the whole year, uh, sponsoring all the main events. And then, you know, later on this year, at some point, we realized, you know, earlier on this year, rather, at some point, we realized we should build our own exchange. And that's kind of where we're at right now and how the partnership with Binance, Binance Link in particular came to be. And so uh, that's kind of like a quick science of mouthful, but it's a lot to say, but that's basically Telos. So, guys, two key takeaways that I got definitely is that they are an L1 solution, okay, and they're building their own exchange. Absolutely massive. Anyone who's interested, make sure you do your due diligence on Telos. Check them out, guys. They've been around for quite a while. As John had mentioned, bro, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the rest of Binance Blockchain Week 2024 here in Dubai. Well, I appreciate you and I appreciate your energy. You're a super great guy. And I got something for you. It's a little Telo X. Oh, bit, yes. Bit of Telos X swag. Oh, so, yes, uh, guys. Check it out. I got a Telos t-shirt. You guys are going to see me rocking this in my videos, of course. Shout out to Telos again. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, my you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, bro.